Hey guys, in this video I'm going to talk about sound design. I'm going to go over my entire project in Audition, show you some tracks and effects that I've used. So making the sound design for your own film is actually simpler than it looks. I still suggest that if there's some kind of budget for your film, you should definitely hire a professional to do the sound design for you. But since my film is completely, almost completely done by myself, with the exception of the score being composed by, uh, by a composer and the background being drawn by a graphic designer, I, uh, I did everything else in the film, including sound design. I'm using Adobe Audition. It's a pretty, pretty easy to use software, especially if you've used any of the other Audition programs. Um, to start a new video project, just go to New Multitrack Session and from the template, there's one for Film Sequence Surround or Stereo. I used Stereo, I think. And what it does, it creates this template for you that you're seeing right here with the video window and some, some empty tracks for you to use. Then you're supposed to just drag your video file to the library over here. Uh, I think this is my video. And then you drag the video into any of the tracks. It doesn't really matter. Uh, I'm not going to press yes because my video is already there. And what it does, it creates this video reference layer for you. Um, as well as one sound layer that's going to have any of the sound you had on the video. But you don't need to have any sound on the video because that's what we're going to do right now. We're going to create a new soundtrack for the whole film. So we just need the video reference. See, this is, and you can just scrub and you're, and you're seeing, you're watching the video on the left. So that's a very, very handy way of, of designing your sound. You can see the video as you do it and just add tracks of whatever you want. So the first track that I have, uh, ignore this track. This was the track that came with my video file. I muted it. The first track that I've used, that I've put was the music, uh, music layer. And what it is, is just the soundtrack for the, for the film. It's, it's not something I recommend keeping on while you're adding new, like small sound effects and ambience because you want to be able to hear everything. Otherwise you can see it's pretty loud. So I just muted it so I can focus on the sound effects. Then I add a couple of ambience tracks. I have birds, wind, some more wind. Let's just listen to them so you'll see what it is. It's very, very subtle. I don't even have any effects on those tracks. I just grab some sound effects that I had. You can buy uh, sound effects libraries in many different places. Some of them are free. And if you listen, you hear the birds in the background. Just very, very subtle birds. I've added some wind in this part because the camera is, is like a little more far away from the character from the character. So I wanted to create a, a feeling of a, a large space. And you're gonna hear a very loud loud wind soon when I look right here. When we're looking from the top of the mountain, I added like a very strong wind to make it to make to make it the mountain feel a little scary. Watch this. So you see, it's all it's all the same wind. I'm just using different uh, different levels of volume. And again, when it reaches the, the top, the wind gets a little stronger. So that's just ambient sound. For for when for when we transition between evening and uh, sorry afternoon and evening, right here in this moment, you can hear that I've added some crickets. That gives it a like a time transition feel, and I've done it again when we switch to to nighttime, right here. So that's very really, like very small things that add a lot of uh, depth. And as you can see, I've played with the volume a little bit. To change the volume, you can just create like a keyframe, and then you tell you tell the program that. From this point, you want to start lowering the volume of that track up to here. I'm going to cancel that. Uh, I don't play around too much with a left and right um, speaker. Like you can, you can decide that, like for example, this track, 
uh, you can decide to pan everything to the left. So we're going to hear it only from the left side. I sometimes play with it a little bit when the character is like doing something on the left side of the screen or the right side that I, I give it a little bit of an edge towards right or left. But it's not something that I, I put too much effort into. So that's the ambience tracks. Then we have some footsteps. That's very, very important. Let's uh, solo them. I'm pressing the this S button to solo the track, so we're only going to hear them. I actually have a lot of tracks for that because sometimes they overlap, and I wanted to name them too. So you see, there's the there's the cube footstep, the ball, and the guest balls. That, that's like the the family, the little ball family. So I just used one track of uh, footsteps and divided it based on the actions. It's very simple. You want to keep it very subtle. You don't want it to be like a very, very loud, loud step. Otherwise, it takes too much attention. It's supposed to be something that you don't even notice. All right. Then I have all the sound effects. There aren't a lot of sound effects in this film, but there are some. For example, let's solo them. For example, when the ball zooms uh, zooms next to him. That's what's fun about sound design. You don't have to use realistic sounds that depict the actual action we're, what we're seeing. You need to just do uh, use something that conveys the, the feeling that you want. So for this, I use the motorcycle drive-by. Listen to this. This is a motorcycle, but I've used it for the ball and it still works. And you can hear that after the ball uh, zooms away, I've used uh, wing, like birds flapping their wings, their wings. So listen to this. Like why? There's no birds there. There's no birds flying away. But it kind of gives a feeling of something like really big and fast just happened. And then to transition to quiet, uh, sometimes it's <laughs> I use like these flap, these wings flap. It helps. Some sound effects over here. And that's it. There's not a lot of sound effects I've used. Again, the motorcycle for when they zoom to help him drive. And of course, the kiss. All right, then we have the master track. And the master track is the only track that I add effects to. As you see, I did not add any effects to any of the other tracks, only to the master. And I only added four effects, mastering, reverb, um, FFT filter, and the compressor. For the mastering effect, I just used uh, one of the presets. I only use the presets, really. I don't have any experience with sound design. I'm not a professional sound designer. I just use whatever sounds good to me. So for this, I think I've used the mid enhancer. Yeah, um, you can just play around with and switch between them and listen while you're doing it and choose the one you like. Reverb is a big one. I think I use mastering reverb just because this is like the mastering, the master layer. So I use whatever mastering reverb was. Uh, the filter, I use mastering gentle and narrow. That just sounded nice to me. And for the compressor, I've, I think I've used either Kill the Harshness or Classical Master, I'm not really sure. And that's the only effects I'm using for the whole thing. You see there's no effects on the other tracks. And then you just turn on the music. You can hear the wind, the birds flapping, the little footsteps. Play with the volume of each track to make sure that nothing sounds too loud. You're gonna like have to revisit it a few times because once you hear it too much you kind of like lose track of what sounds good and what not you need to close it come back the next day turn some footsteps uh, down a little bit increase the ambience of the birds whatever so that's it that's pretty simple i think i really didn't use any extremely professional methods here to, to make the sound design but it still sounded pretty good so don't be intimidated to do your own sound design just Play with the software a little bit. There's a great, there's a lot of great tutorials 
uh, free online to learn the basic interface of Audition. And yeah, I'm sure you can do it. All right, don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.